Another day, another reviewer from the past. Anyway, let's jump right in. Also, special thanks to Roy Teal for helping me out on this one again. Hopefully it's able to live up to your standards. But keep in mind that you're going to want them at a reasonable level when it comes to my content. So let's head back to the reviewer boom of 2007. A guy by the name of Gexup started his channel but wouldn't upload anything until two years later. He would then start a series of reviews as well as top 10 countdown videos. His first couple of videos were, well, let me just give you a listen. I tried one hunting game and after playing it, it made me w uh, wish that I was actually doing hunting in real life because the game was so boring, uninventive, and uninspiring. I wanted to see something new that would slap the deer hunting series across the face. Then came a company called Simon and Schussler, a CBS publisher, which I have no idea why they are publishing video games. Not that good, but not the best, honestly. He stumbles a bit with his words and rambles on a lot. Hmm, just like someone else I know. I wonder who that could be. But over the years, he's been able to improve greatly and has produced content for quite a while until taking a quick sabbatical in 2013 then returned around 2014 to 2015 with what seemed like a disinterest in gaming and was now focused on wrestling slash Pokemon videos and was even doing a podcast with Mr. Weenie Productions. I can't seem to find any of their old videos on his channel, but I'm sure they're out there somewhere. Gexup then announced that he would be leaving YouTube behind to focus more on his actual life. And, uh, yeah, it's, um... Mm. This is not a hack. This is not a drama. This is an announcement that I'm finally announcing that this is over. No longer am I going to continuously come back and say I'm back and then I decide to leave. This is an official goodbye. And along with my leave are my videos. My videos are gone because... You guys need to forget about me. You guys need to move on. Doing all this stuff on the internet is nothing more than a distraction. You guys are sad. It's really depressing to think that this whole activity of doing the stuff on the internet was nothing more than just to satisfy people who I never met in face to face. I'm tired of voicing my opinion and getting myself into trouble and I'm also tired of getting onto the soul same topics with many of the people that watch my videos because they're a fan of these reviews that of the stuff that I reviewed I'm serious I'm sick and tired of talking about Gex I am sick and tired of talking about Insomnia games and I'm sick and tired of talking about Naughty Dog. This is 2016. What accomplishment have you or I made? I'm talking about you, the person who's sitting on their computer watching this video or watching this on their phone to tell you that there's more to life besides this. Ooh, not the best way to go out, honestly. Let me just say this, and I know Gex probably isn't even listening to any of this, but... Uh, I understand you wanted to move on with your life, but don't burn bridges. It's just not the way to do things. Trust me, I know from personal experience. I wanted to come off as this rational and spiritual person, but it just it was just pretentious and nonsensical. He's apparently talking about how he felt hounded by his fans, but... Roy told me that he didn't really have the following big enough for that kind of uh, harassment. But he did mention that it was this one guy who might have been the cause of a lot of his grief. I won't disclose his name though, because apparently he has some issues, so I'm not going to talk about it here. I could talk all day about this, but I'll just post a link in the description for the full video. The same channel also has all of his older videos on there as well. It sort of created a schism within his fan base. A lot of people said that he was in his right to say those kinds of things, while others were pretty embittered by it, thought he was being childish. But 
as of this recording, he has not touched YouTube and probably won't anytime soon. Roy sent me a PM stating that Gexup was now in the military, so hopefully he's found at least some sort of sense of purpose that he was searching for. And so that was Gexup. He may not have wanted to be remembered, but that's kind of one of the toughest things you can do on the internet. I will see you guys later. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like the Halloween episode or something. But you know what's really scary? My insurance dropping me, so I won't be able to afford my glaucoma medication. That's right, folks, I'm chilling out. This isn't your usual e-begging con job. If you don't know by now, I'm a bit of an artist. And I use that in the loosest term possible. But from here to December, I'll be taking $2 commissions. I'll put a link in the description. You can contact me via Twitter or by Google+, Plus if anyone still uses that. As well as DA notes. Order now. I mean, I don't want to end up going as Big Boss for Halloween. But really, it's not that serious. I just like to have some extra money around just in case of an emergency. But anyways, I appreciate all your help in advance. So, have a happy Halloween. Boo!